The following video is a recap of GoFest 2021. And welcome to Lewis's Adventures Plays Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. In this video, I'll be covering GoFest 2021. And of course, like last year, it is worldwide and virtual again this year. But of course, with a twist. And of course, it involves a musical motif. Which path will I take? Will I go with pop star Pikachu or will I go with rock star Pikachu? Find out and see which path I choose for this year's Go Fest. And of course, I will try to catch as many shiny Pokemon as I can as well. Excuse me for my tired appearance, but I had just woken up as of the recording of this clip. Anyways, the first step for the Melody Pokemon special research quest is for page one, earn a heart with your funny Pokemon with the reward of one incense. Use the incense with the reward of 50 Pokeballs. Catch 10 Pokemon with the reward of 500 XP. And your rewards for completing this page were 500 Stardust, 1 Super Incubator, and 50 Pokeballs. Page 2, you had to choose between 2 of Cosplay Pikachu forms, which were Pop Star Pikachu or Rock Star Pikachu. If you choose one or the other, to get both of them, you'll have to trade with someone who chose the other form to, to add to your collection. Page 3, you had to choose, after, I meant to say, after you chose either Rockstar or Popstar Pikachu, it involved hatching an egg with the reward of 25 Great Balls, Catch 20 Pokemon with the reward of 500 Stardust. Take a snapshot with the reward of 500 XP. And the total rewards were 10 Raspberries, Rockstar or Popstar Pikachu encounters, and 10 Pineapp Berries. Page 4, like with Popstar or Rockstar Pikachu, you had to choose between either Galarian Ponyta or Galarian Zigzagoo with a hat, but though both of these can also be acquired in level 1 raids. Page 5 has you using 15 berries to catch a Pokemon with a reward of 25 Pokeballs. Make 3 curveball throws with your reward being 500 XP 
and making three nice throws in a row with the reward of 500 Stardust. Total rewards for this page included 10 raspberries, Gowarian Ponyta or Zigzagoo with the hat as an encounter and one incense. Page 6, kind of like with Rockstar or Popstar Pikachu, you had to choose between either Flygon or Garnivar with a hat. If you wanted both, like with those two variants of Pikachu I mentioned, you have to trade with someone who chose one of these packs. Page 7 has you taking a snapshot with the reward of one incense, walk one kilometer with the reward of 500 XP, use an incense with the reward of 20 Ultra Balls, and the total rewards were 500 Stardust, Flygon or Garnivar with the hat as a Pokemon encounter, and 3 rare candies. Page 8 has you powering up a Pokemon 3 times with the reward of 1 star piece, evolve 3 Pokemon with the reward of 3 revives, and defeat two Team Go Rocket Grunts with the reward of three Hyper Potions. The total rewards were three Max Potions, 20 Trap Pinch or Rolls Candies, depending on if you want with Flygon for Trap Pinch or Garnivar for Rolls, and three Max Revives. Page 9 has you sending three gifts to friends with the reward of 30 Great Balls, Catch 15 different species of Pokemon with the reward of 1,000 XP. Earning a heart with your buddy Pokemon with the reward of 1,000 Stardust. The total rewards here were 5 Golden Raspberries, 1 Incense, and 5 Silver Pineapple Berries. Page 10 has you using 10 berries to help catch Pokemon with the reward of 1,000 XP. Catch 10 Pokemon with the reward of 3,000 Stardust and earn 5,000 Stardust with the reward of 3,000 XP. The total rewards were one lucky egg, the encounter with Melota, and one star piece. And for the final page, page 11, you had to take a snapshot of Melota with the reward of one Roar Module, transfer 30 Pokemon with the reward of 20 Melota Candy, and make a new friend with the reward of 3 Rare Candy. The total rewards were 10 Melota Stickers, Rockstar or Popstar Avatar Poses, depending on if you chose Rockstar or Popstar Pikachu, and a Melota t-shirt for your avatar. And of course, eventually Niantic will release a special research story involving Melota, even if you didn't do Go Fest. As for Day 2, which of course, unlike Day 1, there were two stages. You had to transfer 20 Pokemon with the reward of 5 Max Potions, take two snapshots with the reward of three Raspberries, battle in three raids with the reward of five Max Revives, and the rewards were 5,000 XP, one Lucky Egg, and 2,000 Stardust. And for the final stage of the Day 2 Special Research Story, you had to win five raids with the reward of five max revives, make five great throws with the reward of three silver pineapple berries, and catch 20 different species of Pokemon with the reward of five max potions. And your rewards for completing this were 10,000 XP, three silver pineapple berries, and three thousand stardust. And of course, during day two, it involved rings in the sky because it has to do with the Gen 6 mythical Pokemon known as Hoopla, which of course could be coming to Pokemon Go anytime soon. And of course, like with day one, 
all the Pokemon for the for the collection challenges were also available on day two. Now, as for the the, the event exclusive field research, you had to catch five Pokemon with the reward of ten Pokeballs. Catch ten different species of Pokemon with the reward of one thousand Stardust. Hatch an egg with the reward of one thousand Stardust. Five. Pokey stops or gems had to be spun with the reward of a Pikachu encounter and walk one kilometer with the reward of 1,000 Stardust. And of course, you also had to complete the various collection challenges like Jungle, Desert Mountain, Ocean Beach, and so forth, including Cave. Have it, cat. And for day two, you had to do a lot of raids as all the legendaries from the five years of Pokemon Go were available to catch as shinies. And speaking of shinies, I did get a lot of shinies on day one, including a shiny. Throw Sock, though I did get a second one, which I ended up transferring the Pokemon home along with another Absol as well. Both are in my copy of Sword version. And speaking of shinies, my first shiny I encountered during this Go Fest was a shiny Chinchow, which I later evolved into a shiny Lantern, as it was my second ever for shiny Chin Chow I got, and of course, hopefully, someday I will be able to attend a Go Fest in person. Until then, I look forward to that day. Well, if you're wondering which side I went with, I went with Rockstar Pikachu, and day one of Go Fest is in the books. Not only did I catch Rockstar Pikachu, I also ended up catching Galarian. Zigzagoo with the hat, though the day before it came here to America, I ended up doing a Galarian Ponyta raid, and then I did a Galarian Zigzagoo with hat raid today, and of course I was also able to get Flygon with the hat, and of course during my live stream on Twitch, I ended up catching Melota, and... I also caught a lot of shinies, including an Absol that I ended up transferring from Pokemon Go into Pokemon Home and then into Sword since it's considered an extra to me. And of course, I did a raid for Mewtwo and I ended up getting my second ever shiny Mewtwo. And of course, before Go Fest Day 1 ended, I ended up getting a shiny on Dino as well. This was a fun filled. Day. I got to live stream, I also got to film some footage, and it took me a while to complete the special research, but I was also able to complete the collection, so for the rest of this video, you'll probably just see me doing raids, and that will wrap it up at the end of this video. Well, this Go Fest is now in the books, and of course, I ended up catching 15 shinies during Go Fest, including a shiny Mewtwo in a raid during day one. And of course, I ended up catching only three shinies on the final day. And of course, hours after day one, I ended up catching a shiny Survivor, which gives me the total of 18 shinies that I caught during this Go Fest. And of course, Hoopla is likely a future raid boss that will be coming to Pokemon Go, whether it's an EX raid boss or it will be a normal legendary raid boss. In the meantime, this is Lewis saying thanks for watching everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure.
Also, during these times when heading out, wear a mask where it's mandatory, including in public transit, like planes, trains, buses. Wash your hands, carry hand sanitizer with you, get vaccinated, and lastly, stay safe, stay healthy, and together we are finally getting through these dark times, but still not out of the woods just yet.